Hi, I'm Bob Musano with Siemens Industry. Today I'm going to show you how to install precision mounts, mounting frames with sensors using the spacer bar, mounting straps, RTDs, and for gas applications, dampening material. When doing an installation, it's best if you can find a location out of the elements. And I chose this location because we're in an air conditioned room and it happens to be very hot outside. To space the mounting frames appropriately, you first have to go through the wizard to find out what the correct index number is. Okay, we have programmed the meter using the wizard and the meter has determined that the correct spacing based on the pipe geometry and the liquid sound speed to be 28. And I've already located the pins on reference and number 28. And now I'll screw it into place. Now that we have the correct spacing and we have our mounting straps, we can go to the pipe and put this on. Okay, so we've located the section of pipe where we're gonna mount our sensors. You just wanna make sure that if you're dealing with liquid, you have 10 upstream diameters and five downstream. If it's natural gas, you want at least 20 upstream diameters and 10 downstream. Now that you have your location picked out, what you want to make sure is that you get an accurate circumference of the pipe with a tape measure. And then also get an accurate average of the wall thickness using the ultrasonic thickness gauge. I have one here. You'll notice that upstream of the measurement location there is a port which is going into the top of the pipe but does not protrude into the fluid. So it will not pose a problem with measurement. Now I have my mounting frame staged at this position at the top of the pipe, not because this is where it's going to go. I have it located here so I could see the area that I'm gonna need to condition at the 10 o'clock position um, on this pipe. So both on this side and on this side. Okay, so basically what we did is we sanded off the glaze that was on this pipe, made it as smooth as possible. If there was any flaking material like you see here, you'd, you'd want to remove that before you do the sanding. It's not necessary in this case because we're going to be mounting over here at the 10 o'clock position, and this flakiness will have no impact in the measurement. So I've opened up one of the straps, and I'm going to affix it underneath this tab right here, and wrap it around so that it links up on the opposite side. I wanna keep the worm screw so that it's more or less on the opposite side of the top of the frame. Okay, I've got both straps in place, and what I'm doing right now is I'm using this bar as a reference to see that it is parallel with the top of this pipe. Alternatively, you can use a level, but it, the pipe itself may not be level. So I found that using this horizon of the bar will give you the best lineup possible. Now what I'm gonna do is just tighten both straps down. Thank you. 
And there's no torque specification, but sometimes I'll just pluck the strap to see that it feels relatively taut. And you'll want to repeat this again for this location and for this location. So once you get these frames in place, you're going to have a lot of excess strap which can be trimmed. And that's what these cutters are for. However, this is a single path installation. If this happens to be a dual path installation, you will have another pair of these frames on the opposite side. And the strapping material will encompass both frames for both paths on this side and both frames for both paths on this side. Okay, now that we have the frames in place the way we want them, make sure you grab a matched pair of sensors. You can tell by the serial number if they're a matched pair. And you're going to want to apply a bead of grease along this one, right down the center. And on this one, right down the center. Now I'm going to slide them into the frames. Make sure you have this screw backed out first and then get it into place. And we'll do the same thing for this one and we'll tighten it down. Now you'll want to tighten these down just enough where it doesn't begin to start lifting off of the pipe because the frame will begin to lift. And you want to do that for both sensors. Just make sure that both sensor faces are up against the stop that's in here. And now we can hook up the cables. This one says down because the flow is coming from this direction. This one is labeled up and it needs to go on the upstream side. You're going to want to snug these down. Very gingerly, you don't want to over tighten them or they could damage the inside of the sensor. Next, the gland can slip into place. And once the glands are in place, make sure you use a wrench or something to tighten these down so that you have no water ingress into the connection. And that's all that's involved with getting the sensors onto the pipe and securely mounted down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at Tech Support.